Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. Well, we've got a quick video for you today. This is just a piece of gear I want to go over. Um, been trying to get more of these type of videos worked in because uh, we get people asked about gear all the time. Um, in this case, we're going to be talking about this little holster here. This is the Galco Royal Guard, and the main reason I want to talk about this holster is because if you're like me, if you've tried a lot of different things out you end up with lots of holsters in a drawer that you never use or holsters in a box because they just don't perform as well on the body as they as they look and for smaller heavier guns like this little three inch 1911 it's hard for me to find a small holster that's in the waistband that'll actually work as advertised but i think i found one so we're going to talk about this little guy here in just a minute All right, once again, welcome back. Thanks for being with us. If you like our content, uh, don't forget to subscribe. That's something you can do by hitting that little button in the lower right-hand corner, or you can roll down below the video on your mobile device and do it that way. It helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate it. So, Galco Royal Guard, let's have a look at this thing. So, one of the problems that I have, let me take this guy out here for a second so you can look at just the holster. I will often look at a small holster that uh, is supposed to be good for, you know, larger guns or heavier guns, and they're always a letdown. They've either got too much flexibility, or they don't, uh, you know, they don't stay put the way they're supposed to. I'm having to mess with them constantly. And this little holster here, I'm pretty impressed with the way it's made and how well it handles the firearm. So if you take a look at it here. Um, so it's rough out horse hide, okay? So it's a, a it's a very nicely made, very well put together holster. Um, the the cant on this is set, as you can see. When you have your belt loops through here, um, you've got a slightly forward cant on the gun. Um, it has a metal reinforced mouth, and what's really nice about that is that when you are trying to put the gun back in the holster it holds its shape a lot better than some other holsters one of the challenges i found is that you know you can pull your gun out and it's trying to get it back in without having to either loosen your belt or take the holster off that can be a problem and with this reinforcement here on the mouth it's a very strong little setup and the pistol goes in very well um, like i said the construction is really good it's got some really nice, um, you know, stitching and heavy duty leather that's gone into this thing. And uh, the loops are very heavy duty. So just a really nice setup. And uh, you can really tell where they put the money into this thing. All right, so we're going to take a look at what it's like to actually have this thing uh, on. And so i've always felt like it's a little bit awkward to try and show you on someone while they're standing up but let's actually show you how you would actually wear this with your carry belt so i typically will carry in about the three o'clock position so you know you can undo your snaps here you could also of course just leave these together and thread your belt through if you wanted to but since i'm putting it on this way i'm just going to show you like i said it's real easy all you got to do is just slip your belt through the loops there and then put to the inside and then you're there you know it's very very easy and of course when you have your firearm inside the holster you've got that slightly forward can't see how easy that just slips right in there you know now this is a leather holster and of course it's going to break in over time but what i like about this is that if you look at it okay so look at what's against the body I always try and tell people, if you want to think about how a firearm is going to feel and carry, well, look at how it goes on the body. So you've got the leather, okay? And then the only part that's going to be against you is going to be the grip. Now, if you're used to carrying a 1911 or really any other gun that is fairly heavy in a small holster, you already know that you're going to have something touching you whenever it comes out. What I really like about this is that once you've got this up against the body it's a lot more stable than a lot of these smaller holsters that i've tried in the same configuration so i've been pretty impressed so far with this holster 
And, you know, they've been making this for a long time. And uh, like I said, they've made some additional recent improvements to the holster. But I feel like as far as materials and workmanship and how well the firearm goes in the holster and how easy it is to draw and then return it to the holster, this is one of the better options that I've seen. So, not bad. So overall, how do we feel about the Royal Guard? Well, I think it's really well made. Like I said, it's one of the few little holsters that I've seen of this style and type that actually can hold my gun from moving around a whole lot. And like I say, something like this, this little Kimber, um, this is heavy, okay? Even empty like this, this gun is really heavy. So by the time I have a full magazine in there, most of these little holsters, I can really feel it pulling. And this does a good job of stabilizing the firearm. Now, the only downside to this, of course, is going to be the cost. Um, these are not cheap little holsters. I was actually surprised how much they were. I think I paid, you know, they were over $150, and that's before the price um, recently went up a little bit more. But uh, it's a pretty expensive holster. Now, do I think it's worth it? Well, for me, yeah, I think so. Um, if I find a holster that's made well enough to where I can carry my favorite firearms with a little more comfort um, and feel like it's a little more secure, then the money's always worth it to me. And it's a very solid feel when it's on the body. And like I said, I like that forward cant that you have it in when you've got it in the belt line. So if you have this type of pistol, or anything really, to me, that's a heavier pistol. And, and this even goes for stuff like, you know, your Glocks. I mean, you know, if you carry, like I say, a Glock 19, or what I call a regular size firearm, this does a really good job for those firearms as well. I mainly use this as an example is because my 1911s tend to be a little bit heavier than the other guns that I carry. And the fact that this little holster can manage this firearm in comfort, I was pretty impressed by that. So overall, I think it's a great holster. Um, if you're concerned about cost, you might not want to look at this one because it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it works as advertised. So there you have it. All right. Well, thanks for being with us today. As always, we appreciate you joining us. We'll be back very soon with another video for you. So until then, as always, stay safe and have a great day. Thanks.